Greetings Taffers, welcome to my next Thief FM Let's Play. This time I'm taking a look at Lord Rothchest's shadow, or is that the shadow of Lord Rothchest? I've seen it both ways. Anyway, this is another early era fan mission that I'm looking at following from my A Noble Death Let's Play. This one was designed by Pura, of course the Kalindra author and also author of Autumn and Lampfire Hills, and I'm excited to dive into his first FM here. Um, Anthony Gusso Pura, one of the classic Thief FM authors. I will be playing on the most normal of difficulties, because um, I'm like that. No matter what these difficulty settings are called, I will always go to the rightmost one, so the most normal of normals as I dive into Rothchest's shadow. Again, this FM came out in 1999, September of that year, one of the first for the game. I believe Pyrrha's very first one before, of course, he would later do Lampfire Hills and Kalindra anyway. Let's see what we have here. And again, a jewel crown skull. This Early FM authors loved their crown skulls, like they're either golden or they're jeweled, but some kind of a loot item skull will be involved. And I really like the word in tear, that, that has such a great connotation to it. Lord Rothchest is a freak, and for that he must pay. Rob this sap of all his personal bedroom stash, and keep any personal notes you find. So note to myself, I will not return notes where they were after I read them. Tunnels that eventually connect with the city sewers, or an underground ancient civilization full of the undead. One or the other, you never know in the world of Thief. Anyway, let's dive in here. I love the Tudor style on these buildings. And I will note here something of a disappointment on my end is that I was recording another Let's Play of this. And I actually, I had played some of this FM before, but not all of it. So it was like, you know, what's called a blind Let's Play where I was doing something for the first time largely. But then I noticed near the end of it, I f had forgotten to start the audio recording. So it was a huge bummer. I'm having to re-record here. I hate it when that happens. I've actually never done that before, but I had you know, no audio recording. So it was a busted recording. And here I'm going again. Maybe this time I'll actually, you know, do it right. Because man, in that first Let's Play, maybe it's a blessing. I was an idiot. Just kidding. And I feel I must make the same technical note that I did in that one. Um, whether because it's a um, compatibility issue with New Dark or, or something else, uh... All, all this, most of the sky, not all of it, but most of the sky is that texture there. So here I am, sneaking around Lord Rothchest Manor.
And I didn't finish it on that first playthrough I was doing. I didn't finish it, so I still don't know where everything is. Or all what to do. <sighs> but I have a head start. And you should have seen me. I was zipping around. I didn't get alerted. I didn't alert anyone. Ooh. was great. I think the cellar should be a good place to start. And again in this FM I'm going after Constantine's sword. Um, then there's that jeweled skull loot item, you know, the classic staple of early Thief of them has got to have that special skull item. And then there's that more vague objective of just robbing the sap of his valuables and keeping anything you find to read, like, um... See, it stinks when you have to redo a Let's Play, because the first time I was playing this, I didn't... I didn't really go down that way. Um, to start with, I didn't know what was down there, but now I know, oh, if I go down there, I can connect to um, somewhere else. But anyway, not... Regardless, that is not a good place to have an opening. On either my first playthrough or this one, like, that, that is a gaping issue there. It, it needs to be covered up. And not like Curly would do, where you just throw a rug over it like it used to be covered up for real. Just covering it with a rug wouldn't really make much of a difference. Some guard would really be bummed out beyond how they already are. Laziest recipe writer ever. I'm sure that I would go about that recipe and, as I fixed it, have zero questions about what I'm doing. I love old bell tower, that's just such a great phrase. It's like if I founded a company I'd want to call it like the old bell tower or something. And I was puzzled by this reference to the name Kevil here because um... And I know I'm gonna seem rusty on my thief trivia here, but I know that... <clears throat> excuse me. FM authors will frequently reference Kevil. And it's, of course, a nod to a line that a thief guard says. And they say, Kevil, is that you? But I thought that that was first in Thief 2, and this FM came out before Thief 2, and yet there's a reference to a Kevil. So there must be a Kevil from Thief 1 that I'm not remembering or that I missed. Or maybe Pura just liked the name Kevil. I don't know. No. Some thing is making noise, and that thing is the door right in front of you. Come out, you! Oh, dang it. Glad I quick saved it. Also, I know from that readable that the sword must be in the bell tower. I was putting those pieces together on my last playthrough, but 
Now I know for certain. Dark and regal guest? Temple for the ceremony? Our treachery will be brought to full circle? All things made complete? Lord K. Rothchest? I think something's going on here. Those were a lot of nice phrase not nice phrases strung together you have to wonder how lord roth just gets to his bedroom like does he always have to climb up that ladder to come in the window and no key there coming through the balcony So I can either go back down and try to pick open that door again, but the guard's right there. Or I could make my way back outside. Or I could rope barrel up to that balcony, though it is well lit that way. I don't know how exactly I feel about that. Either way, I think that I will put in a save here. I think, hmm, let me see where this window goes again, <clears throat> excuse me. I think I'll do what I did last time on my busted recording, and someone there? Gonna rope arrow up here. Right as that guard's coming in. Oh, good, okay. I got by. Cool. Oops. Brought down the console again. Because if I have the controls, sometimes I can press shift and semicolon at the same time and it brings down the console. Since I use my left hand on my mouse, right-handed, but a left-handed mouser. This is a really cool roof, by the way. <laughs> Seems like the kind of roof I would have loved to just like run around and play on as a kid. There's the sky. I got away with one that time. Must have been nothing. Oh, I thought I saw something. And you know what? I don't think I'm gonna keep getting away with it. Let me go back to a previous save. Let's see a little 
Well, thing, and I know there's some wood around there, but. What do I see there? Oh, excuse me, hiccups. Because now I'm intrigued. Now, seeing that readable, I, I know that Constantine's sword must be up there in the bell tower. It does say, get a sword back right away so you have a weapon. Of course, the way I play, I don't need a weapon, but um, I could go ahead and do that. I think that's what I want to see. Can I get to that? Let's see. Here we go. Nice. Oh. Bleh. No, just <laughs> let me climb up here. Let me climb up here and get the bell tower, please. Don't catch me. <laughs> let me have this, man. Let me have this. I don't think I got alerted to one of them or by one of them. This is cool. Not that I would expect it not to be, but like well, that's not cool. Someone there? No. Who's there? Come on. Oh goodness. Oh lordy. Come on now, come on. I don't want to go back to that save. Ugh. Oh, this is going to be one of those jobs, I see. Ah. You have to hang down on a rope arrow and nab the item right when the guards aren't looking. I think I'm going to go ahead and get the sword and then proceed to the rest of the manor and, and check out back outside again. Sarah's, by the way. Just the wind, I guess. <laughs> well, that way I got away with it. Someone there? 
really oh, hope these guards don't look up. Who is that? Who is that? But I see that. Oh, I see you there. Ah! Yeah, that's not going to work. <clears throat> well, I could come back here later and sort of have this be the grand finale of my let's play here. Let me try something. If I can rope arrow from here, I'll still be in the shadows down there. Things get too bright. I'm the Phantom of the Opera up here or something. Phantom of the Bell Tower. If that guy never turns, we're going to have some problems. Oddly enough, none of them saw me. Maybe I should just stick with this. Or else I'm gonna have to waste like every water arrow. I mean, hey, it works. I'm down here. None of them caught me. <sighs> Might have meant a little bit of game breaking went on, but. I've lost some health. There is a time where I would have immediately loaded a save if I lost health, but I'm down here. I think if I did reload, what I would do is sneak down back to that corner just like I did this time, rope arrow down to this point. I'd have to put those torches out. There being What's going no way. on over there? Hey! Oh boy. Well. Looks like I get to try it again anyway. Well, very simply, there's one guard who... ...isn't turning, so then you, you get down to a point where he can't see you. Is that you? Show yourself. Don't oh, well. see anything now. Don't know what it was. I wouldn't be able to make that. <clears throat> make a little path here. Oh boy, that was some bad luck. I think I can still jump onto it from there though. <clears throat> I've got to move. Kind of thrown all ghosting pretenses out the window, so yes, I have. I have broken the ghost so much so it has shattered into a thousand pieces. But you know what? I've got the sword, so I don't care. Just kidding. Old Trevor from back in the day who used to ghost everything as much as he could, if not 100%, would be rolling in his grave. Alright, so I got Constantine's sword back right away. I even did it 
I did it. That's the first objective. See, in my last playthrough, the um, the busted recording one, uh, this was like I hadn't done this yet, but this time I did it right away. <clears throat> Not the cleanest job, but a job done. Not well done, but done. Did I save it? Let me quick save it. But I, I love this. I, I just need to take in a moment to sink this in. I mean, look at that. I love bell towers. Someone's above you and the wooden beams, using rope arrows to get back out after stealing the sword you were guarding. But no, no one's behind you. I think another dimension is blending in there. Now again, it's just something with like the texturing. Whether the star texture or the other one must be some new dark kind of compatibility thing. Man, I'm gonna be down to two rope arrows. I hope that should be enough. I always like hanging on to the rope arrows. You have to hang on to the rope arrows. In more ways than one, am I right? And I just failed hanging on in both ways. Wow. You have to hang on to the rope arrows for the sake of inventory and for the sake of not falling. I think that one's a lost cause, because then I'd have to draw it back down if I got up high enough to pick it out. There's still a bit of remodeling to do up here. Rats. I don't see why I should have to be the one down here in the cold and the dark and the damp. Because that's your job, Benny. Just accept it. Well, time to retire. No, I'm kidding. Still have a bit more work to do. I think I'm gonna go... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm getting all raspy. My bad about that one. <laughs> I hear something. Shh. No, you don't. Santa? I don't see anything now. coming this way. Yep, this was made by Pura. You react that way to me dropping a zombie head? You don't think that's the win. I could land hard on flooring and you think that it's the wind, but if I drop a zombie head, oh. <clears throat> Gotta watch out for those zombie heads. I don't see anything now. 
So I'll either go down one of the chimneys here or back down this way. Show your hey! Oh, and that scared the living daylights out of me. Wow. I think I want to go down this way. I might have to use some water arrows. I think I've said this before in past Let's Plays, but... Must have been rats. I think I play worse on Let's Plays. Like, when I'm just playing Thief on my own, it's like, you know, I'm ghosting it pretty well most of the time. And then when I record a Let's Play, it's just like all of that falls to pieces. I'm, like, using water arrows, getting Who's caught. There? Is someone there? I guess I'm just more aware when I'm recording. More aware of <laughs> my playing. Can't you just leave me alone? This guard is just... The thief's here! Oh, I, I don't think I heard that AI line before. The thief's here. 21 and a half years of playing this. And I think that's the first time I've heard that voice line. Of course, it might be because I'm... So good at not getting called. I mean, any voice line to do with getting called, of course, I probably <laughs> haven't heard it. I have to scurry away from that area since I know this lovely gent. Who's creeping around there? Uh, that guy caught me again. He, that guy, the guy patrolling down there, he's out for me. But again, I think if I was playing this without recording it right now, I would be like ghosting this. These guards wouldn't even know I was here. But recording for a Let's Play, it's like I've, I've never played Thief before. It's like, oh, how could you do anything without using water arrows to put out every single light source? Like candles. Hello? <laughs> and then, oh, wow. Wow. I I'm even doing worse than I did in my previous recording of this. <clears throat> I, The water splooshed all over my face. <laughs> but you know, what better things do you have to watch on YouTube? I mean, really. You could watch me floundering here in this Look over there. Early era thief FM. You see something? Mm. Or you could like, but, uh, you know, be watching. Imagining things. Dancing chickens. What's there? Cats riding a vacuum cleaner. Nothing here now. I mean, what really? Someone playing Dark Souls again on the hardest difficulty, just using a butter knife and never dying. Huh? Like, this is quality YouTube content right here. This is where you want to be. Okay, would you just unlock and open? My word. I'm glad there is a loud loot noise when I open that chest because I worked a lot to get that chest open. Holy cow. I I saw Who's that there? Hey. Identify yourself! Something. Halt! Okay, maybe now you can go watch the cats riding vacuum cleaners. Um, I will retract my statement. Maybe I should just curl up and forget this whole let's playing thing. 
Thought I saw something. Intruder! Oh my word. Oh my. This is... I am just... Hey. What was that? We've gotten it! Dear Thief community and anyone noise. watching this, I promise you I have played Thief before. I have been playing Thief for 21 and a half years. Just right now I'm going through some very difficult times that? and I just... Well, I just don't know, okay? I just... I, I, I mean, all of this, this sneaking around stuff, this blackjacking stuff, I, I just... Over here! I, I can't... Who's there? Oh. I just need to get my life in order. That's what I'm saying. And I just, like, perfectly pirouetted off that balcony, and I landed without taking any damage. There, that was worth it. But I, I had to get out of there. I know there's more loot up there, but I had to get out of there. That was embarrassing. Maybe I'm also razzled a bit because my previous playthrough of this, uh, you know, I, I messed up with the recording and now I'm all, like, just frazzled. I don't know. But go watch someone playing through Dark Souls with a butter knife and never dying. Go do that. What do I care? Where am I? Do I have a map? No. Objectives. Okay, so next I've got the Jewel Crown Skull. Interred. I love that word. Interred. Lord Rothchest is a freak, and for that he must pay. Rob the Sap's bedroom. I love seeing someone use Sap before. It's like, makes me think that I'm playing an FM made by someone who likes the Three Stooges, as well as me. Keep any writings you find. Get out alive. A very pura e objective, that last one. Should eventually connect with the city sewers, you hope. Okay, so I can either go back up there and try to get the rest of that loot and explore the rest of that area. Which, wow. Ooh, I really... I really embarrassed myself there. I am sorry about that, folks. Or I could go back outside. Or I could head back down to the cellar. You know what, I'm going to come back to that area. I'm going to shelve that area for now. And in fact, let me put in a save here. Let me put in a save here. Break. Return. Okay, okay, and now I'm going to get back to the game. To be honest, if you noticed a blip in the video there, I also just minimized it to confirm that my audio is recording, because now I'm all paranoid about that. Which is probably why I just got caught like 50 times in a row. But I promise you, I have ghosted several years ago. I ghosted the Seven Sisters on Expert. Trust me. I'm not usually like this. So now I'm going to go the heck down this hole right here. Get this manor house. I'm going to come back to it later. That moment when the Baffert ambiance kicks in. I think this is one of the few thief cellars where, like, I can't walk through any of the barrels. Usually, you can, like, walk into these barrels. You can't do it here. It's like, use those barrels everywhere. There's that secret passageway trap door thing. I don't know how to get down there.
Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Head down this way. You got it. Thanks. Here we go. Now, here are the thief barrels I know. Walk right through them. Now, down that way, there is nothing. It's just an, a, a dead end. <laughs> of course, down here, everything is a dead end. Oh. I'm still frazzled by that cycle of getting caught like 50 times over. I just feel kind of silly right now. And even in my most prime ghosting days, I usually don't mess with spiders. Hey, it's the only way you can deal with them, man. Jeweled, are you? No. Nope. Yeah. And usually, jewel skulls are just everywhere. It's raining them all over me. And when you actually want a jeweled skull, every skull you see is just a normal skull. It's typical, isn't it? Just typical. found me I was hiding back there but but you found me give me to to a good fence okay okay now I know I'm frazzled ah. when you hear this ambiance you know something's up not around. Am I a jerk for doing that? I mean, come on, they're just spiders. Okay, and yes, this is the little city area. This is like the, the exit area. Thankfully, it doesn't end the mission if you haven't finished everything else, so I will just head back down and come back here later. <sighs> A lot of partying going on underneath those mushrooms. Lightning bugs must be going wild. So I'm gonna need to remember this for when I've completed the other objectives and I'm looking for a way out. And I'm spending like five hours trying to find the exit. I need to um, file this away.
You know, going around this old catacombi section like this, it kind of just takes me back to, like, early fan-made maps for things like Doom and Quake, or, like, playing a Descent map, or, like, Daggerfall or something, you know, it's like these long hallways like this. And that isn't knocking, I, I don't mean that as anything negative, it's, it's kind of nostalgic, actually. I like it. It's like back in the day when, like, you know, you'd be discovering fan content for a game online, and it was like, oh, hey, this... Guys, check it out. You can actually, like, download these things that other people have made for fun for these games. And it's like, oh, cool. It didn't matter if it was, like, the most simple, generic thing. It was just like, oh, cool, that fact alone was neat. So now we've all been jaded and we have such high expectations, you know, once you get to the point of fans making things on the same level, if not better, than the original game. Did you find my buddy too? He was hiding. But I bet that he'd get found first. Looks like I won the bet. You know what I bet? No, what? Myself. Because I'm loot, see? So I, I bet myself. Me, I'm, I'm not hiding at all. I don't play that garbage. My brothers are always wanting to hide behind sarcophagi and stuff. Pff, such children. I'm just chilling here. I don't care. Pick me up. Man, all the partying, my word. It's not a quiet mushroom tonight. Now, I need to relate a story about this when I was first playing this on my previous recording, which, as I have explained, well, you know. I had not played all this FM before, so I did not know that this section was here. I thought this was like an exit to the city area, then it ended up being a place with undead. Because at the start, with the objectives I had said and thought, thought and said, Whichever order it comes in. Can you say something before thinking it? Is it possible? But I noticed that... The objective, let's see, it was this one that said, You've heard there are some deep tunnels that should eventually connect with the city sewers, you hope. And I thought and said, that or some ancient civilization filled with undead. Huh. You never know in the world of Thief. And then I found this area and it was like, oh wow, there really is an ancient civilization area filled with undead. And if you're wondering, I can't drop the rubble in this area. It's one of those areas where it won't let you drop or throw it. And I couldn't walk into that area yet, so I had to walk it all the way back up there. Oh no, I've got to do one more. But then I will be able to go in. Where were you in 1999 when this came out? I was a young kid. I was probably just playing FPS games and Game Boy games at this time. I didn't discover Thief until 2000. But where were you when this came out? Well, time to 
raid some tombs. <laughs> See if you could translate zombie. These guys are just moaning just as much as the guards do. Just whining and complaining about things. He's levitating. that that haunt didn't wake up. So let's see. Ah, I'm doing it in order this time. One, check, two, check. So now the Lord Rothchest is a freak one. Man, a freak and a sap. What kind of a... It's like that column is wrapped in wrapping paper. I think I can check again, but I don't think there's anything up here. Just uh, another party going on underneath a mushroom. And a chance for me to make like 10 loud clunking noises in a row, my word. I thought for sure one of those would be a soft landing. I 
again. How you doing? There's nothing down there. I'll let that spider live. I won't waste its life just to explore an empty area with no loot. Now, I mean, if there's something down there that could bring me gain or profit, well, I'd waste a million spiders' lives, you know, but there's nothing down there that can enrich me and lead to me having more than, well, I'll be nice. But here, yeah, no. But, you know, there was... Oh, and this guy, that, that was the stupid brother. He thought he was hiding just because he had his back turned. Am I a loot item? Okay, here. There. I snuck by at least one of them. See? I can do it. It's in me. But there was a time where I would even try to ghost by spiders. That's how committed I used to be. But even in those days, I eventually went lax there, because... You know, they're, they're spiders. Come on. Let's see, so I think I want to go back in that way, maybe? Maybe I'll go back through this way. <gasps> oh. oh! When did I last save it? Man, this this playthrough. Hmm. I can't remember when I saved it last. Let me let me save it again real quick. Let me save it again here real quick and see. Okay, not too bad. So now I have uh, no idea where I am. Okay, but yeah, this playthrough, I'm I'm just being sloppy. Wow, man, I'm being sloppy. Oh yeah, that's right, I had quick save it here right before the empty pathway. Where I waxed eloquent about how caring and, and nice and gentle I am when... You know, there's no profit or gain, you know? Just kidding, of course. I'm never kind and gentle. No, kidding. Uh, my legs and arms. No one's ever going to find me. Oh.
But as I said before, as you watch me aimlessly walk through those again. What else are you going to be watching on YouTube? I mean, really. Alright, made it out this time. And now back to the manor to find Lord Rothchild's stash of loot. And be sure that I've dug up all the info on him that I can. such a great scene there right when you when you're walking through this FM like this and you turn and see that you immediately want to explore it and it's so pura it's like that right there is so pura I didn't even hear a noise with that Alright then, let's dive back into this manor house thing by jumping, hitting that treasure chest, then hitting that wagon and landing on my feet. <laughs> uh, just embarrassing myself. What am I doing? Yes, that's right, this area. Oh, well, I'm down to one rope arrow. What happened to my rope arrows? Like I was saying before, you need to hang on to these things in more ways than one. Okay, that torch goes out. That's the number one thing as I come back to tackle this room and my nemesis again. See if I can do this. Oh, this blasted thing. Oh, if I can just get through there. Oh. Don't want to do that again. For 20 years of Thief FM design, and this, this was the perfect room to cause me to stumble. It's <sighs> here back at the beginning all along. Watch your mouth, man. That guard. Oh. I hear something. Okay, now I might be saying blush, blush, blush. <laughs> That that's just so weird. Why why didn't I save it again? <laughs> Especially knowing how clunky I'm being right now. Such a klutz. What was that noise? I can taff a completely <gasps> empty candy store right now. You, you didn't see that.
Oh yes, now this is a great readable. The author of this FM, of course, Pura, Anthony Husso, has been a published author. And it shows through. Heavy. And just in case it opens something, I will leave it pointing down. I wouldn't think that of Kevl would be so heavy. But now I know why he's a sap and a freak. Yeah, usually I don't do that, but I couldn't help it. Either. There's that treasure chest in his bedroom. And that, I believe, is what I need to rob. I can't pick it, so obviously it takes a key. a trap door there I think actually I think I know where this might open out onto but it's up in the bell tower area Hello? Is someone there? Hello? Anyone there? So if there's something, I don't want to lift all these and cause a ruckus, but... This guard is so there. Couldn't be more there than that guard is there. Hmm. Must have been rats. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to make like Santa and go down one of these chimneys. I have to put out the fire because it will burn me. Oh, the cute little fire arrow appeared again. Oh, great. That was wonderful. Why? Oh, I, I got off the ladder too soon. Oh. oh, how did that happen?
Nothing now. Just happened. Hello? Anyone there? But also hope it ends well. Oh yes, the dining room. That's right. assume is that I'm looking for a key somewhere that will open the treasure chest in, in Roth chest bedroom. that open again someone behind me no but there is someone to your side can't hear it anymore probably not <laughs> if you didn't hear a forest falling in the... I was gonna say if you get hear a tree falling in the middle of the forest would that be nothing but then it was coming out as if you couldn't hear a forest falling in the middle of a tree who goes there If a forest falls in the middle of a tree when no one's around, does it make a noise? is going so now I can't even talk he's going to be coming through that door yes <clears throat> here to uh, get the taxes. So, was that you? What if I said yes? Oh, well. Guess it was <coughs> nothing. Oh, well. Don't know what it was. But if I had dropped a zombie head, you would have been all over me. Two thousand loot, that's a nice even number. Unlike nineteen ninety nine, which is the year that this FM came out in, huh? Oh wow, a key that actually worked. 
That is surprising. Don't know what it was. It's gone now. Is that you, Kevil? Aha. Mystery solved. Oh, well. <laughs> Too many imaginings. There was a, th a thief NPC in the original thief who said Kevil. That's what I thought. Now that she says that, I remember. The thief one NPC who says, is that you, Kevil? Yes, because in Thief 2, it's Jorand. <laughs> That's it. And Thief 2, it's Jorand. That you? That you? And then... Who was that there? I saw something. Jorand becomes the thing. Glad it was nothing. Jorand becomes the Thief mm -hmm. FM name everyone What's references. <laughs> but in this era, it was still Kevl. Okay, so now I'm satisfied Sorry, I remember where Kevl came from. Huh? Sorry, it guess it was. it was nothing. Don't know what it was. It's gone now. Maybe that's why. See, Pura chose the name Kevl just because that NPC says that. No, I'm kidding. It's a fun reference. You see a lot to the name Kevl throughout Thief FMs. This might have been a bit of trivia. Was this the first? Thief FM with a reference to Kevl as a character. I don't know. I it might be this was one of the first FMs. Like how What's would I get that? To that without putting out the candle? <laughs> Sorry, nothing here now. Wait a second, if I like went over here and... Huh? I don't know what that was. Is that you, Kevl? Hey, what's that sound? Maybe it's Kevl. Kevl, 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 Kevl. Since you're so obsessed with asking where he is. <laughs> My dear Amarantha, I apologize for your shock earlier. It must have come as some surprise to you. I cannot make excuses for my origin, but assure you that my love for you is as true and deep as any love can be. You are everything to me. I promise you this. When my affairs in this dark city are over, I shall spirit you back to my country. A land of alabaster domes and mythic colonnades. There, in the deep rose sunsets and drunken twilight, we will dance amid the heady blossoms of the trees. You and I will be one forever outside this black mire of suit-belching gears and mournful cobbled streets. By the time the moon is full again, this place will scarcely be a memory at all. Be patient, my love. I will prove your weight worthwhile. That's a nice readable. Glad it was nothing. Oh well, sorry. Guess it was nothing. Okay, I have some moss arrows. For if what I remember is right, when you jump on a What's that? Bed and thief one, it well I you have to jump on it. It's wooden. Ah! Oh, is, is someone over there? Guess I can't jump on this bed. All day. Is that you, Kevl? Then in Thief 2, it became a carpet sound, but in Thief 1, it was still... They wouldn't Glad sound. Nothing. I'm guessing that key I found will open the treasure chest in his room. But I want to finish exploring here. How can I do it unless that light source goes out? <coughs> Come 
carpeted. Oh. One of those statues. <clears throat> <clears throat> I wonder if that's the keeper that they referenced spying on him. Carpet of roses, a bed of roses. Excuse me, hiccups. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this part without using something at my disposal. And I'll try not to blackjack him, but... How can it be done? Look at this, look at this! I think I'm gonna have to blackjack him. There's just no other way. I can save using a moss arrow though, I think. It's another key. It's a separate key. Yeah. I'll put him on the bed. If it's Lord Rothchest, it'll be appropriate. If not, maybe he'll be blamed for everything. Nice. That is a nice haul. Take off the objective though, which is fine. I have some more things I'm gonna check out, but <laughs> speed potion. What? Maybe in the catacombs. Creepy. Creepy, I mean. See, I love this room. This is like a cozy little Thief One style bedroom. Nice. I like it. I, like, again, most of this mission I had never seen before. And even this part of my busted recording I, I hadn't gotten to, so this is all new to me. Oh, I, I've been in this room. Okay. What about all? 
next together. Is this... Okay, this is a loot item. Okay, I did check that off, but I'm, I'm not done yet, of course, but... Oh, huh? What? What's this? I guess it was a readable? I'm... Hmm. Let's see. Dead Ock Tool, Unhallowed Vault of Pagan Blackness. I still don't know where I got that readable that I just read from. I guess it was in one of these treasure chests, but... Oh. <laughs> Something move there? Nope. Oh yeah, and then there's that area. Okay. Nothing to be seen now. What's, what I like is that you can go through this FM without, like, having to navigate the main parts of the manor. Like, you have the chimneys, you have the, the, um, the cellar, the roof, all these connecting secret passages, which, of course, other FMs have done. Did that shadow move? No, but the man standing inside of it did. Don't stop jumping at nothing. Yeah, stop jumping at nothing, or stop not not jumping at something, huh? Think about it. There's the roof, but I think my work up there is done. But I'll leave it open, just in case. I think I've... yeah, I've looked through this area. There's nothing else really out there unless I want a zombie head and an arrow. Get ahead into my chimney. And I'll take this clumsy food with me. It's back to the roof. Why do I? I hope that didn't alert anyone. I don't know what that opens still. I haven't been able to figure that out. I can't remember. Did I? Is this the door I went in before? <clears throat> okay. It is.
let me do a little more exploring, if you'll let me, since he can prevent me from doing things, obviously. What's that? Who goes? You know, it's that YouTube button that allows you to control the Let's Player. All quiet Just uh, don't, don't Must press have been it. Rats. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I... I don't think this Rothschild guy is a Hammerite. You know, starting to get that feeling. I've been through that door. Too much coffees this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Seems clear. <laughs> Then move there. Can't hear it anymore. Probably nothing. <coughs> so yeah, just because you can't hear it, that means it's nothing. Well, if a middle fell in the middle of a tree, would the What's forest that? not mean you heard it? Or, uh, okay, I won't try that I'll one again. <laughs> Who's there? Is someone there? <coughs> Why do you sound like you're over there? Nothing here now. I think down that way I've, I've been down before, it's just like another door inside. <coughs> oh, that is one squished light. Now, how would I get those loot items unless I knock that guy out, huh? Well, I have crossed that Rubicon. I did knock out the guy in the bedroom. I mean, right? Like, I knocked him out. <coughs> kind of curious what's down there, which means I'd have to knock out that other guy. <coughs> ah, whatever. <coughs> Okay, I've long accepted that on this Let's Play of this FM, I'm going to be a klutz. So, klutz away. Does that mean he's about to look for me? It, it means he's about to look Don't for me. Don't make me come find you! <coughs> Then that means there, there just might not be any way. I'd have to like use a noisemaker to draw him out, and then I would need to use a flash bomb or a gas mine to knock him out. Flash bomb and a blackjack combo, but I don't have Who a flash goes bomb. There? I might just have to forgo those loot items. <clears throat> Can't hear it anymore. Probably nothing. Uh, Sir? Who is that you? Oh, well, guess it was nothing. You bet it was nothing. And 
was down there. And I think I've seen that pathway from a lot of different areas. I mean, a lot of different perspectives. I want to see what's in that treasure chest in the side room. And then I think what I'll do is go back outside the manor and see if there's a way to come in another door where I can get to one of those areas that I can't get to now because of the guards. this. Stop whistling, huh? How about you just stop whistling? And yes, I just did that. A perfect pair went down onto the balcony. No damage, no noise. Thank you. At least I did one cool thing in this let's play. Here we go. Ooh, I've been wanting to do that for so long. Okay, so just making sure again. So now I need to get out alive. Head to the deep tunnels that should eventually connect the sewers. I've been there. I know they do. Let's do this. I will try and enter the manor from another of the outside doors to see if from there I could get any place. But otherwise, I think my work here is done. And even though I once was a committed ghoster, not as in committed to an asylum, but a dedicated one, I never was one to try to get all the loot in an FM. I mean, I love getting most of the loot, definitely, and playing on Expert and getting that loot requirement whenever they have it, but I've never been like a big loot completionist. Seems clear enough now. I might be leaving behind. I might be leaving behind. I might be leaving behind some loot. Of course, the the um, bases on that one mantle are there. There are a couple trap doors I never found a way to open. Like I remember seeing one. I think in one of the bedrooms. There is a trap door. And I don't mean loot on the mantle, I mean those vases above the uh, overhang over one of those main doorways. So I know there are some areas I didn't see and some stuff I didn't get. But after one busted recording and at least a semi sloppy playthrough this time, I'm. Maybe a little ready to call this one and step away and <laughs> ditch Lord Rothchest and go visit the manor house of a certain Lord Edmund, if you know what I mean. Take that as a little preview for my next Let's Play. That guy stuck on a lamppost. Uh, it's actually kind of a nice little scene. The lighting looks cool on him. I, that pool right there. That could be... This could be the thumbnail for the video. Who's there? No. Oh. Maybe not. Oh well. Not good enough. So I think unless I want to knock out a guard or alert a guard... Or risk making a fool of myself again... Unless I want to do one of those things, I... That should be this mission. This early era F... See what I'm talking about? Already. Already. I'm 
just gonna head back to my catacombs and get out of this crazy place. There, you're gonna close that. But it ain't over till it's over, right? Of course not. Soaking it in a little bit. Always sad to... Well, not sad, just bittersweet when you finish or wrapping up a Thief FM and it's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to be leaving this world in a little bit. And I don't want to over-dramatize it, not like leaving this world like you're dying, but I just realized that the phrase leaving this world sounded a little bit dramatic, but... You know, like, I... I had some good times in these catacombs. You now there's the part where I found the, the loot brothers who were hiding. The time when I said it reminded me of like a, a early Doom user map or a, a descent level. The good old days. So that goes to the secret underground undead place where the one desecrated guy is buried. His name is like New York Lotep or Duat Thon or something. But down here nearby should be the... And that's the empty hallway that I won't kill a spider over. Just to go down and be like, huh, I went down an empty hallway. See, good times, good memories. down here. See, I, I predicted this would happen. There'll actually be five more hours. Why am I getting sad? There'll be like five more hours of this Let's Play as I look for the exit. It always happens. Sit down here. Huh. Now I know why you put in that speed potion. Ah, this should be it. Yep. Actually, no, I think I'll just roll out my sleeping bag and take a nap here to refresh. No, because then I'd end up like all those dead thief NPCs you see in the bone horde with the journal next to them. Well, I'm tired. I think I'll rest here for the night. The zombie shouldn't get me. Which, of course, always means that, like, they are in a zombie buffet line where they sit. Yeah, 
I think my work here is done. All right, let's see the stats. Yeah, I didn't find all the loot or pit all the pockets. At least I came close with the loot. Pockets, eh, less than half. I just got one half pocket. I would have been at least halfway. Six locks picked. The one knockout. Yeah, those spiders took my damage dealt up. Yeah, a little over an hour of play time. Not, not bad. I, uh, maybe I should have lingered longer, but... Anyway, that is the end of my Shadow of Lord Rothchess slash Lord Rothchess Shadow Let's Play. Thank you for watching. I enjoyed this. I've enjoyed doing a Let's Play of this one and a Noble Death. These are two... Some, some of the other earlier Thief FMs I have played before. In fact, most of them probably, but these were two I had never played, really. Certainly not all the way through until now, so doing them on these Let's Plays was enjoyable. And do, just doing these Let's Plays in general has been enjoyable. I'm glad to be back in the saddle, so to say. I really love it. I love Let's Playing these Thief FMs and also writing about them, talking about them, so thank you for watching. As always, leave a comment, like, subscribe, uh, or unlike and, you know, never come see a video of mine again, like, I mean, whatever it is you want to do. Of course, I would hope that you like and enjoyed it, especially if you made it to this point. In any case, thank you. I'm Trevor, signing out here. I'll try to get another one of these out soonish, hopefully next week. We will see. But I definitely want to keep doing these. I've enjoyed it. I enjoyed looking at Lord Rothchest here, Pura's first FM, all the way from September 1999. Thanks again for watching. Keep on taffing. Over and out.